This is an example problem for a compound curve. We're told that we have a compound curve that's needed for a new piece of highway to tie into an existing piece. We know that the existing curve is next to the PC, and once it's tied into the new curve, we'll have the following characteristics. The deflection for the existing curve is 27 degrees, 14 minutes, 33 seconds, and that's a curve towards the right. And the existing curve's radius is 550 feet. The new piece of the highway that's going to tie into that older piece has the characteristics with a delta of 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds, again to the right, and a new radius of 780 feet. We're told that the PI is located at station 124 plus 26.08, and we're asked to find the stations for the PC, the PCC, and the PT. Because the new radius is larger than the older radius, we're going to set R1 equal to the new radius of 780 feet. And again, that R1 is important nomenclature for compound curves. And we'll make R2 be the radius of the existing or older curve of 550 feet. We can also find the total intersecting angle, which is the each deflection angle for each curve. So 27 degrees, 14 minutes, 33 seconds plus 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds gives us an intersecting angle of 64.49 degrees. Because the existing curve is next to the PC and its size in relation to the new curve, again, it's smaller than the newer curve that will be added. So the tangent length that is important for this problem is T sub B. That's going to be the tangent length between the PI and the PC. And again, for the case where the first curve is the smaller of the curves. So we're going to need to solve for T sub B. We're going to input the factors that we know that were given. We're going to simplify that. And again, I, I recommend that you solve this incrementally so that you uh, avoid as many errors as possible. Um, and we'll come up with a final answer for T sub B of 399.03 feet. Now we can calculate the curve data for each of the individual curves. So the degree of curvature for curve 1 is 18,000 over pi times the radius of 780 feet. Gives us a DC1 of 7.34 degrees. Our degree of curvature for our existing curve, 18,000 over pi times the radius of 550 feet. Gives us a DC2 of 10.41 degrees. We, can, we also need to find the length of each of these individual curves. So L1, the length of the new curve is 100, multiplied by 37 degrees, 15 minutes, 26 seconds, divided by 7.34 degrees, gives us a, an L1 of 507.2 feet. Similarly, we're going to calculate the length of the existing curve, L2. And again, this is actually the length of the curve that's actually closer to the PC. And this is 100 times 27 degrees, 14 minutes, 33 seconds, divided by 10.41 degrees, gives us an L2 of 261.51. Now we can solve for the points of interest. We're going to start with the PI with the station of 124 plus 26.08. We're going to subtract off the tangent length. It's going to take us back to the PC. Subtract the tangent length of 3 plus 99.03. This will give us a PC station of 120 plus 27.05. We're going to add L2. L2 is that first curve. The existing curve has the nomenclature of 2, although it does come first, with a length of 2 plus 61.51, which will give us a point of compound curvature, the PCC, with a station of 122 plus 88.56. Now we're going to add the length of the second curve, which is the larger curve known as L1. In this case, 5 plus 07.2 will give us the PT station of 127 plus 95.76 for our answer. Now we have the PC, the PCC, and the PT, which is what we were asked for in the question.